is Tampa Tech and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi guys, it's Tampa Tech and I'll show you a couple different things you could do to get faster wireless. And I'll shirt first show you my speed uh, I got right now. So I got about 14, 15 download. And then my upload is about like point more no, about like two point two. All right, so now let's go to my wire router and see if I can get it faster. This is my wireless router, and as you can see, my antenna is buried back there with electronics and wires and everything else. So if I just put my router antenna like that and tighten it this thing's loose as a goose yeah let's make sure it's tight you get you could buy a bigger antenna too if you wanted to if you buy a bigger antenna you're gonna get more range so let's do this so now the antenna is away from electronics and it's not covered in wire and it's not pointing down. Now it's pointing up. So let's see what signal we got. Here, now we adjusted the router. Now we got 18.7. And let's see what we got here. And pretty much the same, 2.2. So there is a definite improvement right there. Now guys, the things that you want to avoid, I'd say you're hooking it up wired. If you're hooking it up wired, the things you want to avoid are tight bends like this. Okay? If you have tight bends like this, it's going to impede your signal. I'm going to show you. Show you right here. So, I'm going to go click on that. So, I got 18 right there. And then my upload is about like. Point two, two point two. Okay, right there. So, and that's with the sharp ends. So, if you have sharp ends like that, and you tie up your wires like that, imagine water flow, and you're gonna um, slow down the water flow. Same thing in the signal flow; it's gonna um, slow down. So, let's go ahead and fix that, and then show you with the straight wire. Or even if you had like round bends, that's better. If you have something like that. But let's just try. If you don't, you don't really necessarily need a really long cable. If you have a short cable and you connect it to port one, port one sometimes is faster than port four on your router. Um, yeah, that that's other tricks to do it. So, we go ahead and click it on again. So right about there, we're getting 21, and see, no bends. So it does, I mean, the proof is in the numbers. So uh, yeah, I suggest um, don't put any bends. If you can, try to get a shorter Ethernet Cat5 cable. Also, if you have really weak Wi-Fi, I suggest getting a Netgear Powerline 85 adapter. This guy is awesome. I did a review on it. Just check out my review on the Netgear Power, um, Powerline 85. Basically, what you do is you plug it in from the back of your router plug it into this device and as soon as you plug it into the wall your whole house is wired for Ethernet it's pretty amazing so basically it uses your electrical power lines in your house to run the Ethernet signal so yeah the box comes with uh, two, uh, two of these one that you plug in near the router the other one where you plug in anywhere on the other side of the house where you're getting weak Wi-Fi and that's your daily tech tip of the day.